K Dog here. I thought I'd come on here and do a recent acquisition video. You know, I don't post too many of uh, Blu ray updates anymore because I'm just going to be honest, it's kind of hard to uh, keep track of this, uh, keep track of you know, what I purchased and, and uh, just do a review. But uh, instead, I just talk about a certain subject now. So today. We talk about one of the longest running medical dramas in television history. Probably, probably is the longest running medical drama of its time. Well, it's all right here. <laughs> or most of it. ER! And that's what we're going to talk about today. Yes, uh, ER was a popular TV show. Uh, debuted in 1994 and ran till 2009. Yeah, that's pretty significant in this day and age to have a television show that runs that long. And plus, that just tells you how good the show is, is that they kept making seasons. Season after se season after season. Now, what's also interesting about the show is that through the course of its run, it went through several cast changes. Uh, matter of fact, very like maybe one or two of the original cast members stayed on in the show, but not, uh, but not together. It went through a complete major overhaul of the cast. Yeah, and a little bit of, let's get into a little bit of history about the show. Um, the hit, the show debuted 1994 on NBC. It was a, it was a Warner Brothers and Amblin Entertainment co-production uh, with Steven Spielberg himself producing uh, season one only. He never re he he parted after season one uh, because he knew that the show was in good hands, and so with that being that way, he just he parted. He kept the Amblin Entertainment. Uh, he kept Amblin Entertainment on as a co-producer, but he himself took his name off of the series after season one. Um, originally, it was pan it was planned to be a movie. Uh, yeah, um, what happened there was, uh, of course, Steven Spielberg and Michael Crichton uh, were good friends. Um, and uh, they wanted to work together on a project. And Michael Crichton was known for his science fiction dramas uh, and uh, his action-oriented mo movies. Uh, like, he, he wrote The Andromeda Strain, which uh, re was released in the early 70s. Uh, he also direct wrote and directed the film Westworld, uh, which is now a TV show on HBO. Um... And so on and so forth. But he had written this this drama back in the 70s called EW, short for Emergency Ward. But he never really got it made. Um, he planned to do it as a movie until one day he and Steven Spielberg happened to be talking about, you know, let's get together on a project. And so he, Michael Crichton pitched... E.W. to Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg loved the project. He fell in love with it. He was immediately starting to think you know, how they could develop it into a movie. But then suddenly they hit a brick wall. And um, you know how that happens in creative processes. So they just decided to put E.R. back on the shelf and look at something else and they said well what else you got that you're working on and Michael Crichton says um, I'm doing this thing with dinosaurs and DNA Jurassic Park 
So they ended up making Jurassic Park instead. But the following year, this was developed into a TV show because they decided to pull it back off the shelf and realize this would work better as a TV show rather than a movie. Because they would have to do a series of sequels and they didn't want to do that. But there's so much more that you can do in a television show. And so they pitched it to NBC. NBC was not crazy about it at first. Uh, but they said, go, haw, go off, shoot a pilot. So they shot the pilot. Comes back. They like what they see. But they're still not really thrilled. And But they decided to take a chance and order a, a set of episodes. And not knowing, or they, or I should, let me back up. They knew at the time that there was another show on the a competitive network, CBS, with a TV show called Chicago Hope based very, very similar to ER. But when both shows aired, both shows did incredibly well, but ER, bam, was the grand slam. And as a matter of fact, no one had any faith in the show. No one. No one had any faith in the show that it would take off like it did. And... As we now know, ER is the long-running medical drama. Matter of fact, set the bar in many ways of, of how a medical drama should now be. Um, and, it's, and it was so realistic in how it depicted a traumatic scene. Uh, when somebody comes into the ER and what it takes to save their life. So, why, why am I talking about ER? Well, I was over at my parents' house not too long ago, about a month ago or so, and the network Pop, uh, called Pop TV, has been playing these, and I immediately started watching season one as they were airing it and I thought and it was it took me back to realize this was a really good show and it was really re well written and acted and uh, of course let's get into the I decided to purchase the entire series now it took me a little while because it's a each set is around $15 a piece on Amazon. There is a big box set that you can get. Um, it's probably cheaper to do it that way, but still, that was around $200. And $200 to $300, it was just crazy. But um, as you can s probably tell, um, like I said before, it didn't maintain its cast. Uh, very similar to MASH, um, but MASH had the bulk of its cast that stayed throughout the series. It was just a handful of people that left the show, or uh, you know that, or that, or they were, were uh, I can't talk that they were replaced. Okay. Uh, so, um, uh, let's start with season one. This is season one. Uh, it start, the starting cast was, uh, Anthony Edwards, George Clooney, Sherry Stringfield, Noah Wiley, Juliana Margulies, and Eric LaSalle. Um, as you see all there, this was season one. Here's season two. A good old. I used to joke about this show, uh, and uh, whenever my mom would watch reruns or something, I said, "Is Clooney in this one?" 
And uh, so here we go, there's season three. There's not much going on in terms of the disc art um, because what you get is what's on the front cover, basically. Um, so yeah, there's season three. There's the back. Let me show you the other two. Wait, let me get this in right. Here's season two. Here's season one. Do here's season four. And there's the there's that. There's that. Uh, when did yeah I'm trying to look at this at the same time I'm trying to think when George Clooney left um, yeah here's the here's the last one with him in it season five and his character of Doug Ross was fired from the hospital they eventually fired him off I'm not going to tell you why. You need to watch the series for your own self to figure out what happened to him. Here's season six. We still got Anthony Edwards on board. And uh, Anthony Edwards' character, uh, Mark Green, he stayed on till, uh, until 2002. Here's season seven. This one in season eight, and there's another season that didn't come with the box because Warner Brothers had eventually repackaged these um, in later editions. There's season eight, and I believe that this was the last season for Dr. Green, aka Anthony Edwards. Now, it's not a big spoiler for his character. His character uh, was killed. No, his character was not killed. His character was... They killed him off in the story, but uh, his character died of brain cancer. I'm just taking the top off so we can make room because there's 15 seasons and uh, don't have room on the music stand. Here's season nine. Here's season ten. And you see some of the cast looks a little bit different there. Still got Noah Wiley playing uh, Dr. Carter. But uh, he was, it was interesting, to, it's interesting to see the progression of his character throughout the years, you know, because when he started out, he started off as just the cocky med student coming in. Uh, the hospital in the, in the show was a fictitious hospital, but it was a teaching hospital, which do exist. So here's season 11, and this is the last season for Noah Wiley as a full-timer I should say um, and but the series continued on here's season 12 um, yeah and they uh, some of the packaging does relist the cast um, obviously it does have it down here in the credits but uh, it reintroduces everybody. Um, yeah, but in the, there's some interesting cameos and some interesting people that uh, came on the show. Uh, like season 13. We have the introduction of John Stamos, Uncle Jesse himself. 
finish the series of ER. He came on board in, on season 13 um, due to the fact that another cast member had decided to leave the show. It was... Um, nope. No, I take that back. One character did leave, but she left in this season. It was Dr. Weaver, Carrie Weaver. Her character had left the show. And uh, they brought on John Stamos. And then we got season 14. Now this one in season 15, Warner Brothers decided to go for a thin case. Um... Where the discs are kind of like that. Um, I don't know what I. F it just feels a little bit smaller, but it's it's the same amount of content. Um, I think it's around 20, 22, 23 episodes per season, and then we have the final season, season fifteen. And this season, they knew that they were going to end it. And matter of fact, it's a little bit shorter of a season. There's only five discs to this one. And this is the season where all the cast members came back to do final goodbyes. Including George Clooney himself came back to uh, say a final goodbye. Um... And it lists on the back here who all peers. Now, I'm going to uh, just kind of read through these uh, characters. Um, now, this this should be everybody uh, that was in the show. so Because they all came back to uh, take the final bow on the show. Um, well, we have Dr. Mark Green, played by Anthony Edwards. He did come back, but he came back as a flashback scene because his character had passed away. All the other characters, no. Um, Dr. John Carter, played by Noah Wiley. Dr. Doug Ross, played by George Clooney. Carol Hathaway, played by Juliana Margulies. Dr. Peter Benton, played by Eric LaSalle. Dr. Luke Kovac, Goran... Uh, that's an Ajik. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name. Um, Dr. Abby Lockhart, played by uh, Maura Tierney. Uh, Dr. Gregory, Dr. Gregory, Dr. Gregory Pratt, played by Makai Pfeiffer. Uh, Dr. Neela Rascatora, played by Pramadir Najira. Uh, Dr. Tony Gates, played by John Stamos. Samantha, Samantha Taggart. Uh, played by Linda Cardellini, Dr. Archie Morris, played by Scott Grimes, Dr. Simon Bremer, played by Di David Lyons, and Dr. Kate Banfield, played by Angela Bassett. Um, actually, I do think this is missing a couple people, actually, um, from the from the, like the first few seasons. There was, uh, what was her name? Well, it doesn't say, um, yeah, we have Gloria Rubin, uh, who played a, a doctor who, uh, contracted AIDS through her ex-husband. So, there we go. The complete series of ER. I know we can't get them all in the shot, but uh, we'll do the best we can here. Oh, I'm out of order. Fifth, six, seven, and eight. Yeah, there we go. ER. What I've been kind of binge watching lately. Right now, I am on season three. But the reason why I know a little bit about this is because I remember watching 
uh, the show when it originally aired on NBC. Um, I do remember watching the series finale. It, it definitely, at least that, there was a few years I didn't watch because I was off at college. I was too busy and interested in other things. But, uh, yeah. Right now, it's... it's a, it, it just was a good, well-written TV show. Definitely in the 90s, and it carried through the, two th the first decade of the 2000s. I mean, that's how good of a show it was. So, yeah. If you see any of these, you like some classic 90s TV or some 2000s TV, pick these up. You will not be disappointed. I would encourage you to start with season one first. Watch it, and you'll kind of you'll you'll get a gist of what the sh what the whole show was about. So, from me to you, see you later.